just enjoy the scenery. Let's do that, courtesy of Road Trip to Truth Season 2. Please sit back, relax, and leave the driving to us. This is Wretched Radio. We have a creepy Greyhound bus driver. I don't know if you've been on Greyhound for a while. I like Greyhound. I liked it a lot. You get lots of leg room. And for somebody freakishly tall like myself, that's a big deal. All you do is just sit there and you let the ride proceed as you, well, you probably nap. Uh, You probably cling to your purse. (laughs) And you just enjoy the scenery. Let's do that courtesy of Road Trip to Truth Season 2. No doubt if you've listened to this program more than once, which the last time we counted a number of people that have done that, well, we haven't even broken into single digits yet. But Road Trip to Truth Season 1 has been out for a year. It has been really well received. It has been shown on networks around the world. If you're a gospel partner, that should just thrill you. Road Trip to Truth Season 1, which always, always, always defends, you know, the truth and preaches the gospel so well in every episode. It's airing everywhere around the globe. Thanks to our gospel partners. Be encouraged with that blast of news. Season two has just been offered to the networks, and we have already had a better response from networks for season two than we did for season one. That means it's gaining traction to boot, and we're thrilled to pieces for the networks that are willing to air it. I would like to share some of it with you to let you just sit back, relax, and maybe just maybe... Rather than focusing on all of the detours ahead, all of the danger signs, all of the construction, Freo, we get the driving illustration point! Maybe just be encouraged. Maybe focus more regularly on this than the carking cares that can so distract us from the important things. Perhaps you're familiar with Milton Vincent. He's a pastor in Riverside, California, and he is a shepherd deluxe. You perhaps know his name from the Gospel Primer, which is a book on justification and how you can think about it every single day. That, by the way, is also available at wretched.org. Season two will be available October 1st. Would like to share with you the Gospel episode. That's right. We dedicated an episode to the gospel and we enlisted Milton Vincent to talk deeply about what it is. And maybe just maybe you need to hear this today because the world certainly has become demanding, hasn't it? It's 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 almost like you, you're a homeschool family. So you've got about 17 kids under the age of five. And they all just want your attention now. No, 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 no. Look at me. Look at me. Give me attention. Give me attention. And aren't things vying for our attention these days? Let us turn our eyes upon Jesus. Drink in the gospel and leave the driving to John Fabares. You're going to hear his voice. You're going to hear Milton Vincent's voice. And you're going to hear the voices of students who most certainly need to hear this. Would you do a thought experiment with me? Imagine your phone rings. You look at the caller ID and you know you're not gonna take the call because it's a bill collector. You're in debt and the wolves are at the door. They're gonna take everything you own to pay what you owe. Your phone rings again. The caller ID says lottery. Even though you don't remember buying a ticket, your curiosity makes you answer the phone. Jackpot, you just won the big lottery. $50 million is yours. How would you feel? Here's another thought experiment. The doctor shows you the x-rays. The shadow makes it clear you don't have long to live. You go home and prepare to meet your maker. Your time with your loved ones is short and you have to get your affairs in order. Your phone rings. It's the doctor. He informs you that he showed you the wrong x-rays. 
you're perfectly healthy and are expected to live a long, happy life. How would you feel? Now, one last thought experiment. What if I told you a story that offered you something better than millions of dollars and a clean bill of health? What if I shared something with you that you could get in on that's better than fame, fortune, a fabulous lifestyle, perfect looks, a great body, or anything else you currently think would be the most enjoyable thing in the world? What if I told you a story that would cause you to say, that's just too good to be true, but I could prove to you it's not. The story you're about to hear is real. You ever heard the word gospel? Yeah. In your own words, could you explain what you think that means? Oh, mm. yikes. Mm. Christianity, to me, my, my own definition, Christianity is just like believing that Jesus is um, um, our savior and stuff like that. Um, yeah. The gospel, I would, like the Christian gospel, I wouldn't really know how to answer that. Like, I would just say, usually when people ask what the gospel is, I say the Bible, okay. right? And that's, I mean, that's all I have. Do you think that could be the best thing in the world? To a certain extent. I mean, it all, it's all to perspective. To help us fully grasp the gravity of the gospel, we sought out Milton Vincent. Milt is an author, former professor of Hebrew, and he has his master's degree from the Master's Seminary in Los Angeles. Do you think most people have any idea how amazing the gospel actually is? Absolutely not. And unfortunately, many Christians don't understand how amazing the gospel is. They think that the gospel is simply that Christ died, he was buried, he was raised so that they can be delivered from hell. And it is that, but it is also so much more. Most professing Christians, they know just enough of the gospel to get inside the door of the kingdom, but they know almost nothing about the unsearchable riches of Christ. The gospel is way bigger and far more amazing than, than many Christians know. Do you believe in like heaven and hell? Yeah, I do. I don't really know. I just haven't done like enough reading or like studying about it to know enough about it. Could you explain to us what is amazing about the gospel? Imagine over 2000 years ago, somebody saying to God, we have sinned, we've broken the letter and the spirit of every one of your 10 commandments and we deserve your wrath in the lake of fire forever. But could you send the second member of the Trinity to earth and take on human flesh and have him live the life that we failed to live, a perfectly righteous life. And then could you have him die on a cross and take your judgment and wrath upon himself that we deserve for our sins? Graphic, you'll have to get the video. And then could you have him uh, be raised from the dead, thereby undoing the death that he died so that he would live forever and then when we come to Jesus, could you, through his shed blood at the cross, forgive us of all of our sins, past, present, and future? And then could you take the righteousness of your son and have that credited to us as if we did all of the righteous things that he did? Graphic. You'll have to get the video. Wretched.org. Oh, another graphic. <laughs> and then could you, upon us believing in your son, give us your Holy Spirit who can dwell inside of us and empower us to live righteously. And could you adopt us as your children and allow us the privilege of relating to you as children with their father? And could you prepare a home for us to live in for eternity with you in heaven? Who would have thought to pray such a prayer? And that's just some of the things that God has provided for us in the gospel. In the gospel, God didn't just do what we asked. He did exceedingly abundantly beyond all that we would have asked or even imagined. That's how amazing the gospel is. And that's just the tip of the gospel iceberg. Nobody would have had the audacity to pray what God actually did. Nobody would have thought of it. Hey, make sure that 
You crush your only son for me. Yeah, yeah. No, I, we want you to crush the second person of the Trinity, make it the most brutal death imaginable, and, and then give me the credit for it. Yeah, then wipe my slate clean. Oh, yeah. And give me all of his righteousness to boot. Would you, would you do that, God? Nobody would have thought of it, but God did. And that is why the gospel of Jesus Christ is amazing. And perhaps your tour on Greyhound has you looking at all kinds of scenery, but it looks more like Beirut than it does paradise. We need to be aware of what is going on in our world, most certainly. But I would ask you, have you been taking the time lately to drink in the glories of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Road Trip to Truth, Season 2, October 1st, will continue with Milton Vincent and the wonderful, amazing gospel next on Wretched Radio. Hello, Maria. This is Todd Friel from your auto insurance company, noticing you're not taking advantage of any of our life insurance policies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? Oh, really, you're not afraid to die. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Listen to this clip from Paul Washer. I'm talking about you. So what do you think of that, Maria? 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 